All right, what's going on, guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video giving our thoughts on the to be released pre orders up for the next 112 scale at six inch scale Walking Dead figure. This one from Exquisite Super Hiya Toys. All right, dudes, and I'll put the link in the description to this one. You can check out from BigBadToyStore.com. Uh, they've got it listed for pre-order, uh, shipping to uh, next year, uh, arriving next year, June uh, 2025. So it will take about a year and a bit for them to get this one done. This one's a six-inch scale Walking Dead figure, which is really rare, dudes. We don't get a lot of six inch uh that's 112 scale six inch like marvel legends scale dc universe classic scale uh you know just straight six inch action figures you know we have the three zero license for walking dead and uh, game of thrones and other series tv series where uh, stranger things where they do the um the one six scale which is like a 12 inch uh, figure. This one now is for six-inch figures, so uh, we'll go in scale with your Marvel Legends and your your other six-inch figures. So it's priced at uh, one hundred nine ninety nine uh, for the Walking Dead Super uh, Exquisite Super uh, Daryl Dixon uh, figure for the exclusive edition, uh, and it looks like it's based on the Daryl Dixon Walking Dead uh, new series. So it's not really based on the older version of Daryl Dixon, like the 3.0 release was. I know McFarlane made a bunch of different uh, figures for it, smaller scale, and uh, some, some like statue, staction figures, stat, statue action type figures where they're mostly kind of pre-posed in a certain, certain way. Um, but this one looks really good. It reminds me of maybe like a Mezco or um, you know the higher priced items like Mafex things like that where you get the where you get the six inch figure but it's like a premium a premium release. Um, so he does look like he comes with soft good uh, um, you know clothing. So he's got kind of the over the over trench coat. He does come with his crossbow, which is really great because we don't really get to see him use that much if at all in the uh, Daryl Dixon series where he washes up. Uh, in uh, Europe, um, so yeah, so it's based on that likeness for uh, for Norman Reedus for Daryl, and um, you know it looks pretty good. You can see kind of like some of the uh, the dirty kind of uh, brown uh, paint maybe or whatever they added here to kind of give some um, you know uh, zombie apocalypse vibes to the over trench coat. It this isn't my um, you know favorite uh, uh, look for Daryl. You know it's not really the classic vest with the um, you know, the winged vests with the stuff that he usually wears in the original Walking Dead TV series. The way he looks in the Daryl Dixon spinoff series, a little bit different, uh, just with their clothing being different and stuff like that where he is in France. Um, this one here, it looks like he's going to have different expressions. So it'll have kind of an angry, open mouth expression. And it'll have sort of like a, a happy, almost half smile expression. Here he is with, I think it, is it a harpoon that he was holding there that he used to kill some zombies and stuff in the Daryl Dixon spinoff series. Comes with um, the uh, ball and chain, which is really cool. Comes with a uh, rifle, which is pretty sweet. And uh, you've got like the, uh, the sack that he comes with paper bag type or... Um, you know, what, what would you call that carrier or carrier sack? Um, let's see. Um, so there's the angry face again, and he does come with uh, the uh, knock uh, knives. So he's got uh, hands where the hands are interchangeable. Uh, you can't take the knives out of them. They just attach them to the hands. It sounds like for or it looks like for what Haya did with these, which is actually good because sometimes you, if it's small parts, you might break them or stuff when you're trying to kind of put on and take off. Just having an alternate um, set of hands with the knives in them, I think it's good. And he also comes with kind of that uh, that hat as well too. Um, display stand, 6.2 inches. Um, let's see, a few bolts, uh, arrows, and I think that's it. Uh, two heads, uh, open mouth expression. I like the open mouth expression better, I think, than the happy closed mouth expression. We don't get to see Daryl looking happy that often. It is nice when we do, but uh, I think I like the open mouth expression probably better. The hands with the knives are really cool. Uh, those are really sweet. And you get one for each hand. You get a left and a right, um, and then open, open palm hands. To carry the um, 
you know, different uh, weapons and such that he has. So it looks like a pretty cool release for this one. I like the display stand also. Looks good. A little bit pricey for these more premium six inch uh, action figures, but hey man, I'll take it. I'm just happy that they're doing uh, Walking Dead action figures in what I consider to be the standard action figure scale. Um, some people may not agree with me as far as that goes, but for me, you know, collecting figures since I was younger, I feel like once Marvel Legends did the six inch scale way back when with Wave 1 and they got into that, DC Universe did this. It, for me, six inch action figures is like standard. Seven is a little bit weird. It's a little bit taller. I don't really like it as much. Um, six inch is just like that's that's what's standard for action figures. You know, for for um, for collectible action figures for me. One one uh, one six is great. The three zero stuff is amazing if you can afford it. If you have room for it. But um, six inch action figures is really like the the regular deal. So it's great to see them do some of these uh, characters, at least at least a Daryl. Uh, it'd be great if we could see a Rick in six inch scale from the ones who live, maybe a Michonne, Carol, hey, go wild with it, Negan, Maggie, damn dudes, I pretty much, uh, I might have to consider switching from the three zero scale to these if they want to do all those, would be really awesome, and they'll fit in scale with your other stuff. So let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments below. And uh, what do you think about the Daryl Dixon spinoff series? It's been a little while since we've seen the first season air. Second season's coming up this summer. Um, what do you think of it compared to The Ones Who Live? Where are you at with that? And compared to Dead City? Before you leave, if you don't mind, thumb the video up below. Share, favorite, subscribe at the bottom. I'll see you guys again soon for another video. It's Trev, and I'm saying peace. Later, guys. See you soon.